the part that makes this one a double kabuki just because we wanted to have the ability to have the curtain hid, hidden when people walked into the room at a certain point in the song we wanted to release the curtain so you could see it it just filled the stage and then at another point of the song we released the curtain to clear the stage again that was the reason for this double system so the way we did it was on the bottom of the truss down here um, you see all these nails, eye bolts that is where the main white curtain hung um, just along along this row right here and then what happened was we have a black curtain that's attached to the back of the truss that is currently hanging you can see we uh, rolled the white curtain up and then basically we made a basket out of this uh, this curtain here came up and the white curtain sat inside of it so what happens was and this one attached to the top so at a given point of the song we release the top this black curtain fell down and dumped out the white curtain and the white curtain unfurled and then another point of the song we released the white curtain and it cleared uh, on top we had the two springs one and two solenoids two kind of two systems here one for each curtain this front one here was for the black curtain um, it has a quick wrap two fast pulleys that go around to the top system here uh, the back spring was then attached to another set of two pulleys they kind of crossed uh, as you can see from the top back to the front bottom uh, came down right here and then that fed the line that goes across the bottom of the dress on top we have uh, two big springs um, right here and right here. This one on the left is not tensioned currently. Um, going down the middle of them, this turnbuckle here is just a safety line. It goes down the inside of the spring and attaches to this end board. Um, right here just to make sure that in case something goes wrong, the spring doesn't go flying. Um, on top as well, we have two solenoids. Uh, there are laundry solenoid styles. So basically the way it's set up, um, the spring is loaded, the spring is loaded right here around uh, between the two eye bolts. The pin of the solenoid is coming through here and so the weight is currently resting on the two eye bolts. Uh, the spring is also attached to this aircraft cable which we ran through two pulleys to turn it around. It comes underneath here and the way the system works is there's a nail attached to the aircraft cable um, and then the curtain or whatever you want to put on here has little uh, quick links on it and so the weight is actually of the curtain is resting on the nail between the two eye bolts and so what happens when we give power to the solenoid up here this pin pulls out and the spring releases the spring pulls on the cable which and then pulls all these nails um, all the way down out the nails only have to really move maybe an inch and a half to release the curtain and so I'll give you a kind of a quick example of what happens when um, we give power to the solenoid I only did a little bit of the curtain right now just to give you an example so as you can see, the sp spring released, the solenoid pulled loose, uh, pulled the pin out, spring released, it pulled the cable, and now the nails are all been pulled out. And so it should be ready to set up and run again. Oh, I brought the motors up, so that's right. <laughs>